it would just be wrong to not share this part of my faith story that produced a leap that I am still in faith comprehending. As many of you may know, my mother is a stroke survivor and has been in a 24-hour care home for the past 10 years. Many of you have been our prayer warriors and encouragers, and I will never have enough words or efforts to thank you and repay you for your generosity and care. You never know how much those phone calls, even just a text message or an offer to help can bring forth some relief. So you know who you are. Thank you for that. From the bottom of my heart, I will be forever grateful. With this global pandemic we are living in, everyone knows in our nation alone, these skilled nursing facilities are the hotbeds for this virus, both for the staff and mostly the elderly residents and the sick and shut in. In the beginning of the pandemic, there were the larger percentages of the infections and deaths. My brothers and sisters in Christ, I am saying all this because just as our crippled beggar from this book of Acts chapter 3, my down and out moment involved my mother being on lockdown since March. My down and out moment involved knowing she was sitting in a room every day, all day, without being able to socialize, without being able to attend her physical therapy, without being able to receive visits from those who love her and visit her. My biggest down and out moment was knowing she could be a sitting duck, waiting to see when was she going to test positive for the COVID virus, which only became a bigger and scarier risk in this past month of July because they were testing them every week because every week somebody else in the facility was coming up positive. My friends, since March, monthly, daily, hourly, I looked up and cried out to Jesus, Lord, do I take her out? How am I going to manage all her care on my own? I looked up and cried out to Jesus, how am I going to manage my multiple job responsibilities? How am I going to manage all her physical needs? when she is still paralyzed on her left side. My friends, even as I stand before you right now, as a believer in Christ, a sinner saved by grace, I can only say that my faith produced a leap that even I couldn't completely believe some days. Not because I deserve it, but because God is merciful. Not because I am holier than anyone else, but because God is faithful. I know many of you have a caregiving faith story as well, just like mine to share. And we are now ending our third week of her being at my home. Yet, by the grace of God, we are both alive still. And as I said earlier, last night my faith was being tested. My language was a little bit more colorful than usual, but my faith in the name of Jesus the Christ, both my mother and I are being made strong. By faith in Jesus the Christ, both my mother and I will continue to receive our complete healing. I may not know what tomorrow holds, but I know who holds tomorrow. My friends, wherein lies your faith? Will your faith lead you to take a leap that only Jesus can carry you through? Let us continue to hold on to our faith. Let us continue to hold on to Jesus the Christ, the author and finisher of our faith. Let us continue to not grow weary and lose heart, but let us continue to hold on to our faith, looking up to Jesus to receive our blessing, leading us to walk, leap, and praise our amazing and loving and faithful God. Amen. Amen. God bless you. God bless you.